What's going on guys? Today we're making curry mustard sauce. This is extremely versatile, goes super well with fish, goes great on sandwiches. It's super easy to make and you're gonna love it. What do we do first? So the curry mustard, it's super simple. First things first, Brian, can you zest that lime for me? Can you catch that lime for me? I can zest it. All right, zest <laughs> it. All right. So zest it right here. Uh, just zest it and then we'll tap it in there. I'm gonna put all the other ingredients. We got mayo to start. Obviously with everything, we're gonna salt and pepper it. Okay, gotta season everything. And then with this, it's a curry mustard, and I like having the three different types of mustard. Yellow mustard gives me that all-American flair, that bright yellow color. Then we got the Dijon, okay, which is finished traditionally, I believe, with white wine, so it gives a little bit more of an astringent flavor. Okay, I'm gonna go pretty heavy-handed on both of these. We got a beautiful whole grain mustard, which is gonna leave a nice textural element. We're gonna do about two tablespoons of each of these. And then don't be shy, and if you got family who comes back from Trinidad and gives you fresh curry powder, thanks Nisha, you're gonna put about two ounces of that in here as well. Tons and tons of flavor. Now, the acid component of this, I'm gonna use part citrus champagne vinegar and some of the lime juice. So I'm gonna just give a little splash of this to cut through the fattiness and the richness. And then once Brian's done with that, we're gonna cut it up, juice it in there, mix it all up, and that's it, man. Super simple. So just drop it right in here. Yeah, toss it over, bam. Look at that. Bam, Beautiful. again. Bam! Squeeze it up, bro. Let's start with half a lime. We'll taste it, and we'll go from there. Sounds good. Use That's those it. muscles, Doug. And we'll cut right there. last squeeze. You know what? I think it needs a little bit more whole grain mustard. I want to see more of the caviar. So there. what's the flavor that we're looking for? We're looking for... Heavy curry, heavy spice, right? You're gonna have a lot of different spices, cumin and all that stuff in the curry powder already, the mm -hmm. turmeric. It's gonna be really good. But then what I wanna do is I wanna cut through some of that rich mayo with the acid and the lime juice. So Got it. You give this a little taste. Bro, get in there. That's incredible. There you you can really taste the curry flavor, but you can taste exactly how the acidity kind of cuts through. Cuts Just like you said. Yeah, you really need to make sure you go heavy on the spice, right? Mm -hmm. It's a curry mustard sauce. You want to taste the curry, you really want to taste the mustard, and the whole grain mustard gives you a little bit of crunch texture, like a popping caviar kind of thing. This is so simple to make. It's great on so many different things. This would go amazing with like grilled chicken. This would go amazing on a fish sandwich. <laughs> fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. A little FYR for you guys. And uh, yeah, man, try this recipe out. Hope you like it. As you guys can see, super easy recipe, incredibly flavorful, very versatile. I hope you try this out. Hope you enjoy it. Until next time, guys. Well, guys, here we are. As you saw, we've already done this outro, and it was delicious the first time. <laughs> As you can see, we need two no, we're doing a double, see, a double outro. We've got a spare amount of time, bro. No, we really have nothing to do. Let's, let's just do this. Let's do this so we can knock out the slot. Ready? Thank Bam. you. You're going to have to cut me out. Hold on. You're going to have to cut me out turning my back. Okay. Oh, no, bingo, bingo, my videographer. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do this.